Hey friends, this is Dr. Patrice Buckner Jackson, and I am so excited to bring you the Love Always PBJ podcast. Y'all, it's the first episode. This thing has been in my heart for a long time. And you know, I'm a preparer, right? So I had the microphones, I got the software, I've been watching the YouTube videos, I've been doing all the stuff except recording podcast episodes. So your girl decided that now is the time. Now is the time for us to get started. Now is the time for us to have this conversation. Now is the time for us to start this journey um, through the Love Always PBJ podcast. So today I'm going to talk to you about why a podcast, why it's dedicated to millennials, what this podcast is about, and what you can expect. So I hope you're excited. If not, you need to get excited. If we know each other, hey, It's good to hear you. It's good to see you. I guess I won't see you or hear you, but you can see me and hear me and and then we'll figure the rest out. If we don't know each other, welcome family. Whether you know it or not, you are family because that's how we do life over here. So thanks so much for joining me, y'all. I'm just going to set the stage real quick. So it's about 5.08 in the morning. I got my cup of coffee. I had to have a few sips before we did this. So I'm good now. I got a little sip of coffee. Um, my baby Bella, my little puppy, she's not a puppy. She's six years old, but she's she's a little Yorkie, my baby. Um, she will probably make herself known at some point during this recording. But this is real life, so we're going to keep recording and we're going to get this message out today. Um, This is also my second time recording this introduction. I did it a couple of days ago, and it was nah, it was all right. But y'all, there was so much nervous energy and all that. I was like, no, that's not PPJ. So we're doing this again. So here we are, the reintroduction of the Love Always PPJ podcast, y'all. Like I said, this podcast has been in my heart for a long time, and for most of that time, I didn't know it was going to be a podcast. Um, I just knew that I wanted a way that I could remain connected to my students, um, to those who I've served, um, to those who I've walked through life with. I wanted a way to keep sharing, to keep communicating, to keep connecting, and so grateful for social media that allows us to do that. Um, But I just feel like I have so much to share. Um, I work in higher education. I've been working in higher education for 20 years, and that entire career, I've been serving millennials. Shout out to my students. This podcast is dedicated to you. Um, Those of you who have allowed me to walk with you through life. And I mean, we have done life together. We've done life. Um, My husband and I have officiated your weddings. I've been in the delivery room with babies coming more than once. Um, We have called. We have cried. We have been on the video chats catching up. Um, We have walked through some of the toughest times of your lives. Um, For some of you, when you lost a a parent or a roommate or a friend um, to death, I was there. Um, We just, we've done it. We've done life together. Um, And I am so grateful and honored um, for the opportunity I've had to be a part of your lives. But I also feel like it's not over. In college, we, I mean, that higher education is worth it, y'all. We're going to talk about the power of higher education and my personal testimony um, and how it has impacted my life. But I'm here to tell you that we can't cover it all because once you graduate and we celebrate you and you walk across that stage and everybody's so proud and there are tears in our eyes, you go off into this world and this life and you no longer have those safety nets of being in college anymore. And whether you went to college or not, now we t- this is Life University, okay? We are talking about how you walk this thing out and how you live this thing out. And I'm so grateful that I have 
had people. I had people surrounding me. I had wisdom. I had people who had walked that way before, um, who have spoken into my life along the way. And I want to be that for you. If you're open to it, if you need it, if you desire it, I want to be that place. I want this podcast to be that place where you can come and get this practical wisdom that if you will apply it to your life and along with all of the dynamic characteristics that millennials just naturally have, (laughs) if you put wisdom With those characteristics, oh, I'm here to tell you, you cannot lose. That doesn't mean that life won't get tough. It doesn't mean that life will not get hard, but you will get through it and you will sail through it. You will fly through it. I want to share lessons that I've learned the hard way, lessons that my mentors have given to me so that you don't have to learn those lessons the hard way. That's the goal, my friends. That's what we're trying to do over here on the Love always PBJ podcast. If I haven't introduced myself, I'm Dr. Patrice Buckner Jackson, but you can call me PBJ. And we are about to walk through this life thing together. So before I dig in too deeply today, I do want to say that you can expect that we're going to have one-on-one chats on this podcast. We're going to have group chats with millennials on this podcast. I'm going to bring some of my mentors and those folks who have spoken into my life. I'm going to bring them so that you can hear them and hear from them. If you are interested in recording with me, chatting with me um, on this podcast, Email me at podcast at patricebucknerjackson.com. Again, that's podcast at patricebucknerjackson.com. I'll put it in, in the description of this episode. But if you have a question that you want to talk through, a scenario that you want to say out loud, even if you want to send it to me anonymously, you don't have to be a part of the recording. You don't have to share your name. But if there's something going on in life and you need need some wisdom, you want some feedback, then why don't you send me an email? Tell me what's going on and uh, we'll share it with you and everybody else on the podcast. So that's what you can expect. And that is what is coming your way on the Love Always PBJ podcast. I want you to know that this podcast is going to be all of me. (laughs) It's going to be all of me. Let me, let me help you understand what I'm talking about. So Like I said, I've worked in higher education for 20 years, um, mostly in state institutions um, and a couple of private institutions, but mostly in state institutions, which I have loved and I continue to work there. I I continue to uh, share with students and love on them now. Um, But when you work in state institutions, there are rules on, you know, what you can say and you represent the the institution all the time. And, you know, there's nothing wrong with that. You can be light wherever you are. Um, But here, (laughs) here, my friends, on the Love Always PBJ podcast, you getting all a PBJ, okay? Um, So faith is important to me. My love, my love of Christ and how he has saved me and delivered me. I cannot tell you the truth without talking about Jesus. It is what it is, y'all. There's an old song that says, you can't make me doubt him because I know too much about him. On this podcast, we are going to be talking about the word of God and we're going to talk about Jesus because that is truth. Um, And I got to give you the best that I got. So know that we're coming from that perspective. Know that we're going to talk about scripture and we're going to pray through some things. And it's not all going to be, I'm not here to preach to you. Um, it's, It's not all going to be focused um, on straight Bible study, but I can't help but weave it into everything that we talk about because that is the truth and that is foundation. So you're going to hear a whole lot about Jesus um, and what Jesus has done for me in my life, but you're also going to hear a whole lot about purpose and work and relationships and, and how to get things done and how to lead and how to build a team and how to navigate the challenges of work life. That's all all of me, every piece that I got from my family to my work, to my ministry, to my faith. Oh, I'm bringing it all to you because the 
best way that I can love on you is to tell you the whole story. The good, the bad, the up, ugly, and the recovery. Oh, you're going to get it. You're going to get it here at the Love Always PBJ podcast. So I just want you to understand what is coming your way and know what to expect here at this podcast. So I, I will... Um, focus on three primary areas here. We're focused on three primary areas of life. And as I was preparing to really do this, I prayed and just thought about what is most essential. What is most important? What is most important to share? Um, and, and I came up with three three themes, three values um, that we are going to be discussing um, throughout our time here on this podcast. Number one, we're going to be focused on an identity that is rooted in Christ, an identity that is rooted in Christ. Number two, we will focus on purpose that flows from a heart to serve. And number three, we will focus on relationships that are worth the cost. When I think back all over my life and the things that are most important, the things um, that no matter what comes, no matter what goes, these three have carried me. These are the three, identity in Christ, purpose that comes from a heart of service, and relationships that are worth the cost. So that is what you can expect. That's what we're going to be talking about in so many ways and so many topics. I believe that these three values cover all of those topics. And millennials, listen, you got it. Like you all are transforming, literally transforming life as we know it. Y'all have come into this world and you are tearing down old mindsets and old traditions and old ways of doing. And that's why you make everybody nervous. Okay. That's why, (laughs) that's why you're the most studied generation because people are puzzled. They don't know what to do with you, but I am here to celebrate that uniqueness of your generation. You are phenomenal. We need you. You are are changing us. We are turning. We are evolving. And it is because of your generation. So on this podcast, we celebrate that. We're celebrating everything beautiful, everything wonderful about the millennial uh, generation. But y'all, we are also talking about the struggles. We are also working through the challenges. We are also gathering practical wisdom from those who have come before you from life. Maybe some who are walking right with you, honey. It doesn't even have to be a generation X or a baby boomer, but there are millennials among you that have lived some life and experienced some things and they've got some wisdom to share. So this is all about practical wisdom that you can apply to your life right now, things that you can do right away immediately um, that will make your life better and make your foundation stronger. So that's what we're talking about. That's what we're delving into here on the Love Always PBJ podcast. I want to share a little bit with you all about our three values and why um, I chose those values. So just walk with me a little bit through that. Again, we're focused on identity that is rooted in Christ. We're focused on a purpose that flows from our heart to serve. And we are focused on relationships that are worth the cost. As we talk about this, I want you to picture, and I'm very visual, so y'all walk with me. I want you to picture a tree. I want you to see that tree in your mind, and I want you to start at the roots, and I want you to see strong roots that stretch deep and wide into the soil. Those roots represent our identity in Christ. All of our nourishment flows through our roots. All of our strength flows through our roots. Our stability flows through our roots. Nothing peaks above the ground for a tree or any other plant. Nothing peaks above the ground until there is a strong root system already established. Sometimes we don't even realize that there's something growing. 
because those roots are not seen. They grow in darkness. Hear me, somebody. Your roots grow in darkness. They grow under the ground. But all of a sudden, at the right season, the, the, the plant begins to peak above the ground, coming from that strong root system. So your identity in Christ, our identity in Christ, my identity in Christ has been my root system. It is my stability. It is my nourishment. It, it is my everything. If you cut off my roots, then you have cut me off. I, I am nothing without my identity in Christ and who he says that I am and who God created me to be. You need a foundation that is unshakable, that is unmovable, that does not change. You need a foundation that does not change when people change, that does not change when you're job changes. That does not change when your title changes. It doesn't change when people are for you. It doesn't change when people are against you. It doesn't change when people want to be your friend. It doesn't change when they want to be your fans. It doesn't change when they want to be your enemy. You need an identity of a root system, a foundation that no matter what life brings you, you can be stable. And you can be strong and you can be nourished because your root system is secure. So we are planted securely in our identity uh, from Christ that was established before we took our first breath. Before you accomplished anything. Before you accomplished anything, before you had a title, before you had a degree, before you had a family, before you had a a child, before you had a job. You had this identity in Christ. Now I need you to take your eye up that tree and let's take a look at the trunk of the tree. So we've come from the roots of the tree where that is our identity and we're coming to the trunk of the tree, the strength of the tree, the thing that makes the tree so immovable, the thing thing that makes the tree so strong. And as the tree grows, rings grow in this trunk and it gets thicker and stronger and stronger. That trunk represents our, our purpose that flows from a heart of service. When you know who you are and what you were created for. There is a strength that overwhelms your life. That is freedom. It's like nothing else. When you become secure in who you are and what you bring to the table, and you can release that comparison to other people and other people's lives, and you can let go of what people think you should be and the opinions of others and you live confidently in who you are and you can tell people, hey, this is what I bring to the table and this is what I don't. This is what I can align with and this I can't have nothing to do with. It brings a freedom to your life and it's a process, friends. It's a process. You don't just wake up one day and say, I know what I was made for. Or you don't just come out of your teenage years and just know. Most people don't just know. For most of us, it's a process and there are steps that we take to actually get to the point that we know who we are. And we know what we were created for. But we're going to explore that here because I'm here to tell you once you know, once you know, there is so much freedom in knowing the moment, the moment that I knew the moment and y'all, it took me years and maybe it took me a little bit longer. I'm, I'm a bit of a late bloomer in a lot of areas, but it took me years to be confident in who I am and what I bring to the table. But once I got that confidence, oh baby, you can't tell me nothing. You can't tell me nothing. I remember the moment that I became aware of it. And it wasn't too long ago. I was actually in an interview and giving a presentation in an interview. And I said to the folks in the room, I said, this is who I am. This is how I lead. This is how I serve. If this is not what you want or if it doesn't align with what you need, then I am not the right candidate for you. Baby, listen. I felt so powerful in that moment. 
I felt so free in that moment, and I have not let that freedom go. And there's a struggle every now and then when you um, become aware of other people's uh, desires or other people's thoughts or whatever. But, honey, I can brush that off now and keep it moving because I know who I am and I know what I was created to do. I was created to encourage I was created to support and I was created to love. That's who I am. In everything that I do in my life, I encourage, I support, and I love. Every single thing in work, in ministry, in business, in my family, everything. That That's what I do. I'm the big sister. <laughs> that's what I've always been. I've been the big sister or the mama or the auntie or whatever people want to call me. That's been my role. And I stand securely in it. Because that is what I was placed on this earth to do. When you know what you were placed on this earth to do, you are strong. And you stand like that tree, that trunk, that holds that tree secure. And not every wind that comes can knock it down, honey. It's got to be mighty strong, category five up in here to bring it down. And even then, it can grow again. So that's that purpose that's rooted from a heart to serve. And purpose comes from a heart to serve. It's it's not about accolades. It's not about pats on the back. It's not about titles. But if your purpose is not to serve other people, it is going to be short-lived and it is going to bring you nothing, no fruit, no fruit. So there we go. Now, we've talked about the roots. We've talked about the trunk. Now take it to the branches and I want you to see the fruit on the tree. If it's an apple tree, I want you to see the apples. If it's a lemon tree, I want you to see the lemons. Whatever tree it is, take a look at the fruit. Your relationships that are worth the cost, that's the outcome. That's the fruit. Relationships that are worth the cost. Y'all, every relationship costs you something. Every relationship costs you something. And as human beings, we were created for relationship. We were created for connection. Isolation is actually against what our brain is made up um, or how our brain is made up to operate. We were, um, I heard Brene Brown say that we were, uh, we were created for interconnection, um, um, one depending, not, not codependence, but interdependence. That's what she said. Interdependence, not independence, not codependence, but interdependence is what we were created to. Brene, girl, I just jacked up your quote, but y'all hear me. We were created to walk through life together, to depend on each other. Um, that's why relationships cost you something. It costs you time. It costs you attention. It costs you love. It costs you energy. It costs you thought process. But you got to determine what the price is that you're willing to pay. Because there are some costs that are not worth it. So we are focused on relationships that are worth the cost. And this is not just your love relationships, but these are your networks. These are your work relationships. These are your community relationships. It's all about relationships. It's all about who you're connected to. And I'm not talking about you scratch my back, I scratch yours, but I'm talking about the essence of life. The core of life is about who you walk through life with. And it is so important that you are uh, selective in your relationships and you choose very carefully what relationships are worth the cost for you. Um, So we're going to be talking about that fruit. We're going to be talking about relationships that are worth the cost, y'all. So those are our values. That's what we're going to focus on. And again, all of our topics are going to fit right into those three values. Y'all just just watch and see. I'm here to tell you. All of our topics are going to fit right into those three values. Um, this tree, this tree of life, I don't know. We're going to figure out a name for the tree. Um, but we're going to talk about this tree a lot because it is the truth and it is the essence of life. Um, so I, I want to share this scripture with you um, because as I was preparing and thinking about our values and thinking about that tree, it took me to Psalm chapter one, verse three, and it says, he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that brings forth its fruit in its season, whose leaf also shall not wither and whatever he does shall prosper. 
that's what we're talking about. We're going to be like trees planted by rivers of water. Our fruit come forth in its season. Those right relationships come forth in the right timing, in its season. And that last line, and whatever he does shall prosper, shall mature, shall come to be. Whatever you do, when you are focused on an identity that is rooted in Christ, purpose that flows from a heart to serve, and relationships that are worth the cost, whatever you do shall prosper. So that's what we're talking about. That's what we're focusing on today and always on this podcast. So before I close today, I want to talk a little bit about why millennials, why is this uh, podcast focused on millennials? Like I told you, my students, Uh, this whole thing is dedicated to my students. And if you weren't my student, welcome to the family. Um, But if you were my student at any time, either in a training or in college or whenever we um, interacted with each other, um, most most likely you are a millennial. And millennials are defined um, differently according to the source that you are looking at. But if you're in your 20s or 30s at this point, somewhere between 20s, 20 and 40, you are probably considered a millennial, um, according to the resource. And sometimes I even fit in there myself, y'all. Um, I've kind of got my foot on the line of Generation X and millennial. But there are some things, like I said, you are the most researched generation. Um, you're actually the largest generation alive right now. Um, everybody's curious because you're so different. Here's some of the things that the research says about you. In work, you are changing work culture. You are literally changing work culture. So before you, the boss was the ultimate expert and the last say so. And millennials are coming through work saying, Why? Why do we do it this way? Why have we always done it this way? Why don't we try something new? Um, you're looking for flexibility at work and your salary matters. Um, you, you are a generation who likes to achieve. You're looking for the next achievement. Um, you're looking for the next thing to conquer. And if work don't work out the way you think, you move on. <laughs> Millennials are not staying in the same job for 30 years. They're not staying long enough to get the gold watch or the apple or whatever you get um, when you have worked in the same place that long. You are moving on because you like flexibility um, and you like to accomplish and you like to be promoted and you like to be acknowledged and these old uh, org structures are not working for you. When it comes to faith, um, there's a lot of research about you all leaving the church in droves. Um, And we're going to talk about that because I'm very curious um, if Leaving the church also means you no longer believe. And again, from the Christian perspective, do you believe in Jesus? Do you still love him? Um, Do you believe in God? Um, Has that belief changed? Uh, Or is it just the structure of the church and the tradition of the church that you're struggling with? I'm very curious to hear. And I'm going to be asking that question and we're going to dig into that um, concerning your faith. Concerning relationships, you know, sometimes y'all get a bad rap because they call it the hookup culture. They're focused on Tinder and all of the electronic ways that you connect and swiping right or left. or Honey, I don't know where you swipe. I have no idea. But y'all know what I'm talking about. Um, there, there's a word called situationships. You know, we're not in relationships anymore. We're in situationships. Um, but at the same time, um, there's some Harvard research that says you very much desire deep uh, relationships, not situationships. And this research also says that you're having less, less sex than any generation before you. So the hookup culture recommends one thing concerning your lifestyle, um, but this other research represents another. And it, it, it really sounds like you desire deep relationship, but you don't know what that's supposed to look like. And you're not sure how to pursue that or how to develop that or how to 
make that happen. Um, so we're going to talk about relationships and your desires in relationships. And we're going to talk about building strong relationships that are worth the cost. And again, um, from my experience, but also some my mentors and from the word of God, we're going to dig into this and figure out what relationships are worth the cost and how do you build strength in those relationships. It really sounds like from my research, you want that. You just don't know how to do that. Um, I don't think we're talking about it. We haven't had these conversations. We haven't sat down with you and said, listen, your identity comes from Christ, not from what you've accomplished or not what people call you. Your purpose needs to come from a heart to serve. And relationships are going to cost you something. Good relationships are going to cost you something. So on this podcast, we are going to talk about it. We're going to talk about all of this, the three values, those three foundations, this tree of life. If you get this right, this practical wisdom, and you put this with all of the wonderful, dynamic, creative, industrious characteristics that just innately come with your generation, my friend, you are going to go further, faster. I'm here to tell you. Life is going to be good, and even when it's not good, you're going to be all right because you will know it's going to be good again. So let's get into this thing. Let's dig into it. Let's take this journey together. This is my letter of love to millennials, to millennial leaders. Listen, I've fallen in love with your generation, and I want to do my part to give back to you and to fill your cup because you are giving to all of us. So y'all walk this out with me. Hang out with me a little bit, will you? All right. I'll see you next time. Love always. PBJ.